Today I will be reviewing the Remarkable E-Ink tablet. What you get inside the box is the tablet itself, a pen with some extra uh, spare tips, and a micro USB cable for charging the device and uh, as well as connecting to the PC. This is the physical appearance of the device. So you can see the charging port right there and the back is right here. Um, you see some uh, protection on the sides here for scratch marks and things like that. So let's turn on the device with the power buttons. And if you see here, you see three different buttons. The ones on the sides are for going forward and backwards um, when you're inside the, your file. So if you see right, right here, you go forward and backwards. And the one in the middle here uh, takes you to the home screen. So the home screen right here. Let's look at some specs. So we've got a 10.3 inch screen, which is sufficient for most PDFs. You got an 8 gigabyte um, of internal memory and a 3000 uh, milliampere battery. A 1 gigahertz ARM processor and at the moment it supports P only a PDF and EPUB. Let's explore the device. In the My Files tab here you have an overview of all your files. Let's go into a folder and make a new one. So you can rename your folder, you can move it to another file, no, another folder, uh, you can delete it. Let's go into a folder and make a new notebook and you can name it uh, something, test, and you can start sketching or writing or drawing or whatever you want. In the notebook tab here, you have uh, a quick access to all your notes and you can organize them, which you can organize uh, alphabetically or by si file size or um, by last updated. In the document tab, you have a quick access to all your documents and you can see here that I have no uh, ebooks. Or and one last thing is if you click the remarkable logo up here, you have some settings you can change and as well as some information about the device. So um, in the accessibility uh, down here, you can choose your preferred text size. You can view your storage, your remaining storage. You can uh, go to security and set up your own password. Let's take a look at some of the functions of the notes. Uh, so we have the pencil, no, the pen right here. You can change the tip of the pen or the thickness. Same go goes for the pencil. You can uh, change the thickness and also the tilted mode right here. You can try it out, you can try it out. Uh, you have the brush right here, which is actually pressure sensitive. So if I apply more pressure, it becomes thicker. And it's also even um, speed sensitive. So if, you, if I do it quickly, it kind of changes the shade of the black. So you have the um, uh, highlighter right here. This is more relevant uh, when you're reading, reading a book or something, if you wanna highlight something important that you want to remember or use later. Uh, you have the um, eraser right here. So you can either just erase by choosing the thickness of the eraser or you can erase by choosing an area. So if I choose this area, it will be deleted or you can decide to just delete everything off. So this next one, uh, you select something and then you can move it or you can um, make it smaller or bigger or even uh, rotate it around and also even copy. So if I click on here and move it, you make another one. Um, so right here we have, um, sorry about that, uh, right here you can um, choose the, a template for what you're drawing or writing. So if you're drawing something, some templates might help, or if you're writing something. 
Um, and right here we have the layers. So if I create a new layer and write uh, and write something, and then delete, uh, for example, layer one. Layer two and what I write, wrote or um, draw, then layer two remains. So the document view has the same um, functions as the in uh, the notes. So you can draw, you can write something, you can you can highlight some important uh, information or something. One tip is you can go to a specific page. If you go here and uh, write in for example 121 and you go to that page and another thing is you can decide to crop down the uh, the page to make it more uh, uh, pleasant to read on so if you just go down here and do this and then crop. It'll be more pleasant to uh, to read. Uh, I will finish off by talking about some problems uh, that I have encountered when using the device. First off, uh, it restarts or hangs and then restarts. Sometimes if um, the device gets into an illegal state or something, so uh, trying to crop and pushing the home button at the same time uh, has led to a hanging and then restarting. And um, another bug that I have, had, have encountered one time was when writing a note and then exporting um, exporting uh, to PDF. Uh, there was one time uh, where something went wrong. Uh, not all or some part of the page which didn't export right. Um, another thing is the bookmarks, which uh, doesn't work as uh, as intended, I think. Uh, I don't see how it works at all, actually. Um, and um, um, when talking about exporting, I want to show uh, the app. It uh, works really well, so uh, if you, I have a PDF, uh, I can drag it to the app and then uh, you see that it starts oh it's already there so let's start let's see if I can view it here you see that uh, it is uh, downloading transferring here so it will be on the remarkable in um, in a short amount of time and um, uh, you see that yeah it's now Almost done. Here. Yeah. And uh, another thing that you can do here is uh, you can walk, uh, go into this folder, and uh, you can export as PDF or as PNG. And um, the export as PDF doesn't uh, gives you a really really large file. And a necessarily large file, I think. Uh, but export as PDF PNG works as expected. I will finish off by um, comparing the Remarkable to another device that I love, uh, and that is the Unix Box Max, uh, which is a 13 inch uh, e reader. Uh, it is definitely slower than the Remarkable, um, and for writing, the Remarkable itch is uh, much, much better. Uh, but for reading, uh, I will actually um, recommend the Unix Box Max uh, because of its size uh, and its display. Um, it's okay to read on the Remarkable um, because you can uh, crop uh, the uh, pages uh, so that um, the text is uh, sufficiently large. Uh, but I prefer to read on uh, on the Max. Um, so uh, the bottom line is that if you want to write and sketch, uh, you have to buy the Remarkable, and it's also good for reading. But if you only read or uh, mostly 
read, then uh, maybe the Max is uh, a better better choice.